Yo, what's going on, but once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus this is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Chris and Guy 2009. Of course, you guys in the rest of the video, and before we begin, definitely check out freedomnetwork.com or chopping up your shoes now. If any people want a professional channel, banner, design, and or professional picture made for you, I'll put their link to their official YouTube channel in the description box below to their link there, or their official website if you want to check them out for more information. And um, best partnership ever had, all that good stuff. Or just Google them. And without further ado, and uh, proceeding with caution, if any adults, parents, guardians, uncles, aunts, if you have nieces or nephews, or if you have any, um, um, if you have any children of your own, if your parents, unfortunately I'm not, but if I ever was, I wouldn't let my kids see this. Um, definitely um, ask them to leave the room immediately. I'm not showing any hardcore, like, furry hentai, like, fake art cartoon form pics around and I'm just showing like very soft soft ones instead I tried to make it as like um less lustful as possible when I did this video I rarely ever do videos like these on this channel this is mostly my criticism guide 2009 channel where I do a lot more controversial videos and topics over there where I talk about a lot more there than I do over here but this is still Pokemon related in a way and shout out to once again the fabulous awesome one of the most badass, craziest, coolest people of on, on YouTube, in my personal opinion, after a year and a half of hearing about this dude, Proto Mario. He's actually the one that did this video first before I did. And I'm using one of his pictures, so hopefully he doesn't have no problem with that. If you're out there, Proto, and if you're watching this, hopefully um, it's no hard feelings. I'm just showing it as an example. I'm not saying that it's all my work, that's all your work. And all the pictures you're seeing all, all belong to their specific and direct owner. And I might have to do a two, maybe three, heck, a four-part video series on this topic because I can go for hours on end talking about this and that's why you hear the seriousness in my tone of voice right now I'm not not laughing I'm not doing jokes right now I'm dead ass serious when I'm doing this and uh, some of the pictures I had to look at unfortunately um just for the sake of the video so that way you know they weren't too hardcore hardcore porn like furry hentai or just Pokemon related porn and um yeah here we go and let's begin so now that um, your kids are out of the room, maybe they're still watching unless you gave them the okay to watch this. Um, Nintendo, they officially shut down a lot of Pokemon pornographic material tags on other websites. How do I feel on this? Well, let's put it in this layman's terms as possible, ladies and gentlemen. I feel that, um, in a way, it's a double-edged sword, in my personal opinion. As a former, I really don't really want to talk about it because it's an extremely private part of my life. I don't want any of you guys knowing. I'm sorry, that's just... Something I, myself as an individual, off of YouTube, I dealt with a lot. And I'm not going to say or do anything very explicit or not. I'm just saying. Back when I was used to be, and this was when I was still in middle school and high school, I was just barely getting into this stuff. I don't do it anymore. It's been about good maybe six, possibly seven years by the time June comes around. Since I used to fap a long time, a lot back in the day. I used to jack off and masturbate to porn, unfortunately. But I was a hormone-enraged teenager. That's what you do as teenagers. Back in the day, you're, you're curious, you're interested, you want to know about sex. What is it? What is this? What is that? And uh, I should have said earlier, view discretion is advised. I just say that in the earlier part of this video. So, this is a, as simple as terms as I can put it, folks out there in the audience. I will say that um, the way Nintendo did this, um, this is the thing. They can't shut the whole internet down in a way that... The only three like companies I could probably see doing that is either Google, possibly Bing, or maybe Yahoo. If they want to shut down all their email sites, which I highly doubt they're going to do that. They're making trillions and trillions of dollars probably every month, possibly every year, doing all these Google searches and stuff. So it's a giant necessity nowadays for the Internet, folks. Let's be honest. But um, in layman's terms, once again, I will tell you this. My own personal opinion, um, being a fanboy of this back in the day, um, plus, when I did my Chris's Guy 2009 channel video, when I did the top 10 sexiest Pokemon, I was still a little bit lost at that time. I was about 23 when I did that, about 3, 4 years ago. I'm 26 now, so um, that shows you. I, I've been around the block of the internet lots and lots and lots of times, ever since 2001, 2002, early, mid-2000s, when I first got the internet. And that was when I was still living with my um, family, my immediate family at that time. On my parents at the time, not anymore because I have roommates now. Um, let me get this drink of water. You'll occasionally be seeing me drink this water too. This is the thing. Here we go. Let's, let me just break it down. Let me get to the meat and potatoes, bread and butter, and the whole freaking uh, banquet of what I'm about to talk about. And as you can see there, 
the over-sexualization of certain things about Pokemon, and I usually don't talk about this, so bear with me. Um, some of you guys might not subscribe to this, and you know what? That's totally okay, you know? It is what it is. Hopefully you stay around, but if not, I completely understand if you don't want me to go into this topic. I rarely talk about it, too, so you've been warned. Um, back in the day, um, I'm not going to get very, very personal and specific with my life. Back when I was still a 90s kid at the time, of course, I didn't fap or nothing. That wasn't even called fapping at that time. It was either called jerking off or choking the chicken at that time. This is what I did. Like, I used to have these crazy, without getting it very personal, I used to have these crazy sexual fantasy relationships with what it would have been like to have sex at that time. Because, you know, I've been lost my V-card, to be honest. I was like 19, 20 years old, about six, seven years ago. So, um, I haven't really had to watch porn ever since. It doesn't do nothing for you after you're in your teen years. It's just done, you know? But, um... I used to have these crazy ass fanny sexual fantasy things about all the Pokemon girls and stuff, or even Generation 1 and 2. And without getting very super personal and intermediate with it, uh, long story short, let's just say this. I even read, like, um, <laughs> I used to, like, write little journals in my, like, professional handbooks, like, back in the late 90s or 2000s, which I actually still have in a garage downstairs, which I'm not going to show you guys. Maybe if I get, like, I doubt it, maybe 10,000 subscribers one day I'll probably do, but I doubt that's ever going to happen, so... Yeah, they were pretty freaking crazy. I'm not going to get into very huge, illicit, explicit details of what I would do with the Pokemon, like females and all that. <laughs> but seriously, with all with all jokes aside, I was a huge fanboy. That's how deep I was and rooted I was into the Pokemon franchise when the first two generations were out. Third generation, that's when I lost a lot of the... Um, a lot of the franchise feeling for it. I kind of lost interest in the TCG aspect of it and the manga I stopped reading those and collecting those until 2011. Manga I still don't collect anymore but um what else um as far as that goes let's talk about the over sexualizations of this um the five I actually posted up on there as you people can see I know it's going very fast but try to keep up with it I put the big two which was Gardevoir and Lopunny and then the other three which I think was Zoar, Lucario and um I wanted to say is Diancy, Diancy. I looked up to any of them if they had any there was a lot of them I could not post on here due to obvious reasons of me not having my channel taken down. Because I don't want that to ever happen. But um, I had to be extremely careful what I had to post on here because you know how linear YouTube is. Sometimes they're extremely strict. Other days they're very, you know, they give you a little slap on the wrist with a copyright claim. And um, hopefully that's not the case because I'm probably going to have to put that under section 107 copyright law infringement or whatever. I don't know. That's what I'm going to have to do in this video, like I did with the other one, the Digimon Try um, anime series reaction review video I did literally about two days ago. But um, getting back into the aspect, um, I don't know what it is. It is, in a way, the, what Proto Mario said in his video. He said it is a freedom of expression. Now, you put that into other layman's terms, what do you get? This is the freedom of speech, the constitutional one. So I'm not going to get really deep into that because that's more in my older videos when I did my Criticism Guide 2009 channel. Um, check that out if you haven't already. For my older subscribers, you might like a little bit more. My younger ones, you may not like it too much. I'm not trying to get to a negative outre look, our outreach on this, but I'm just letting you people know. For the matter of fact, you know. Um, I'm not going to get into all of them, but there's a lot of over-sexualizations on them. There's some that are even a lot more hardcore than this. That, um, unfortunately, um, uh, it kind of like deems our society as like, Especially for the younger males out there and teenagers, it kind of suppresses their sexual drive to actually go out and talk to a real physical woman out there. And luckily when I was about 18, 19 years old, right after I left high school to go to college, I was able to do that. Because before that I was very, a lot of you people don't know this about me, but I was extremely super antisocial. Now every time on the weekends I'm always hanging out with buddies and stuff like that, which is awesome as hell by the way. Um, but back then, um, oh, I was very antisocial when I was like middle school and high school. I, I, I barely had any real life friends. I would always go home and either like play video games, watch movies, or pretty much fap off to like anime hentai porn or furry porn or any other type of porn. Except not any other type because I didn't do it to like homosexual or gay porn and all that crap. I always avoided those ones. That's, that was disgusting to me back then. It's still disgusting to me now. But uh, anyways, let's keep it moving. Um... Another thing that really interests my spark is that they didn't take all of them down. They just took down the tags for Rule 34. Everything that had, like, furry Pokemon, hentai Pokemon, I think they took out Porkemon, which was about 12, 15, 20 years ago. That's what they called it back then. I'm not sure if they call it now because I think it was, like, about 2007, 2008, the last time I 
was very addicted to it. And if people do tell you, oh, no, porn's not addicting, it's just a joke. Don't lie to them because I had a very huge issue. I'm not going to get very much into it in my real life situation at that time, but I was extremely dangerously addicted to the porn to the point where um, other things ended up taking place, which I'm not going to get into because that's another very personal part of my life in my life. Let's just say it didn't end well for me, unfortunately. I mean, I didn't get written as like a pedophile or nothing like that. It wasn't that serious, thank goodness, but it had something to do with work, unfortunately. My old, old jobs and my new ones that I'm doing now, my old one. Um, another reason was um, due to the matter of fact that um, Nintendo decided to do this because maybe it makes their franchises a, their official things that are main targeted, targeted demographics, which they still try to like do it for the anime, especially with the... Uh, they're, they're children and the teenagers are they're the ones that are the most targeted demographic of audiences out there. And if any people are under that age of 18, you're mostly the targeted demographic. Maybe you don't like Pokemon and you like maybe Yu-Gi-Oh! instead or Monster Hunter or Xenoblade Chronicles. You know, that that's all fine and dandy. I don't really give a crap about Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm sorry. I've mentioned that a few times on this channel since early January. MMORPGs have just never appealed to me. Except for like stuff like perks, like Killing Floor and all that. That's why I did the Killing Floor reaction videos. If any people remember those. Which was not too long ago, about a month ago at least. But um, in all due seriousness, once again people, this is a very big problem for people that do stuff on DeviantArt or FanPop. Or what else? DeviantArt, FanPop, Pinterest, if they post pictures of like nudity or sexuality on there. Some of them they might get in big trouble for that. Unless the website is there. They're very linear with it. I know with Facebook, if they post any pornographic pictures of naked women on there, their <clears throat> excuse me, their their um site not their site but their fan page gets immediately taken down, with no questions asked, completely shut down. Of course, if it's a very serious matter like like child porn or something like that, then that's very 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 bad. That is not good at all. In the slightest, I completely disagree with that. People like that, they do not need to be living in this world. Other than that, another situation that was very, very serious, not to me, but like to other people, I'm not going to say and mention names or anything like that due to the protection of their names and all that, but unfortunately what happened to them is um, one of them, they ended up having to do like um, not three years of community service, three years or something like, or actually no, it was three months of house arrest and then someone else got something else. I forgot what it was. It's been like five, six years when this happened. So I'm a little like, my mind's a little, my memory's a little fuzzy on that. But I will tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, um, another really crazy things that, that do happen on the internet here is that, like, it is freedom of expression. Like I said with Pro Tomorrow, the characteristics, the way they do this. And parents out there, if you're listening, take notes. You do not, I highly suggest you do not let your kids watch Rule 34. It, it can mess them up mentally. Maybe not physically, but mentally. And not to try to get into a lot of religious themes or nothing here, because... I was formerly a Christian. I kind of know how that whole spiel goes a little bit. Um, but in a way, in the matter of the fact of the sense of the word, is that how this works is that, like, your kids will be mentally scarred for the rest of their life. There's still a few things in the past I kind of wish I would never saw when I was looking through porn a lot. When I was in my kid and teen years, I was extremely, highly, dangerously addicted to it. Thank God I got the hell out of it when I was about 18 and 19 years old at that time in my life. Because if I still would have been into it now, I'd be screwed up very, very badly. Uh, mentally. And possibly spiritually, too. Now, let's get back to this now. Um, the Pokemon Furry Hentai stuff. Um, I heard about it a few times. Maybe in my older videos or on my Criticism Guide channel, um, you probably heard me joking like, <laughs> Looking for a Hentai. Some of these people are so silly. <laughs> you know, seriously. But with all seriousness on there, um, it is a very, very like touchy subject when it comes to like debating about pornography in their industry because I don't know what they do over there I really honestly don't care you know behind the scenes yeah I know they're having sex that's the main blatant obvious terms there obviously but at the same time this is what I'm saying um stuff like that they draw these pictures of like even mega evolutions I heard like one of the, one or two of my twitter fans or whatever shout out to my twitter fans mega wolf or Manny wolverine over there or just nintendo fans 20s well if you want to check it out my twitter account down below as always it's always defaulted there next to my freedom network thing or whatever they sent me two pictures of mega evolutions of like these weird hardcore softcore like furry hentai porn dvnr pictures they linked to me somewhere it was with mega gardevoir mega like low punny kissing and that's it i'm not gonna get into any more deeper <laughs> than that 
Um, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I wasn't saying I was a, appalled, appealed, or disgusted by it. As a matter of fact, I mean, yeah, the, the watercolors, it looked all cool and everything, but the concept it was giving to, like, try to destroy the younger generation, which is the millennials after my generation, after Y. Not Pokemon X or Y, just Generation Y in general. And I'm talking with my hands a lot, so you know I'm very, very serious right now. But, um, it, it kind of shows how much society is just, unfortunately, um, it's like it keeps degenerating itself. Lower, 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 unfortunately. That's what our next millennials are supposed to be taking care of us, my, my generation, the older one, that we're supposed to be guiding them and showing them the right ways of how to live. But other people, they want to bring them down to a more degrading, 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 a lower, a stooping us to a lower level of humanity. That's not really good. I'm not trying to preach to the choir or anything. I'm just letting people know. And uh, hopefully you guys could tear, turn this thing up. Last thing I want to touch base with is that, um, and the other three Pokemon I showed you, like, there was even like furry hentai porn for old school Digimon, which I had no idea about. I think the only one I knew back in my high school years or the early mid late 2000s was Renamon, and that was it. That was the only one that was the big giant furry hentai one that a lot of people like drawing the most. And a lot of them, unfortunately, they're probably living in their mom's basement or something. Not to bash on people out with their parents, because I was there for a moment at that time until I left, thank goodness. But at the same time, yeah, it gets very stressful. So I, I've been there, I've done that. I can say I've been there and done that. I've been with lots of women, thank goodness. Um, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. Um, sadly, sometimes that still happens, but not all the time, thank goodness. Sometimes monthly, I'll still get with a girl. But I'm not going to get any more deeper than that. And that's it. That's my overall thoughts of using painting. And like the female character, as far as the fe human female characters, before I end this off, before I finish up this video, that's pretty much the same as regular hentai porn, like anime hentai, sentai, the slow ones, um... Yuri, Yu, Yaoi, I know that one's like for gay homosexuals, I think Yaoi, if it's still the same. And then Yuri's like lesbian stuff or whatever. And then of course there's the other deeper ones I'm not going to get into, like the BDSM hentai, or um, Shota, and a whole bunch of other ones I'm not going to explain because I'm trying to keep this very PG, maybe PG-13 rated, it's not rated R right now, I'm keeping it very PG-13 rated right now. And as you heard in the whole series of my voice, it's real. And a lot of those are crazy. You know, just look at all these. I'm looking at through the reflection of my TV. That's ridiculous. And the weird little Gardevoir. And the other one else from Generation 4. I forgot her name. The one that was the Ice Type Gym Leader. It's, it's not sickening. But at the same time, it's not really laughable. It's not a serious situation. It, it raises a few concerns. But at the same time, it's sad. You know, maybe some of you people might not take me seriously. But I'm being very serious right now. And that's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. And even the whole thing with Team Rocket there, look at that. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, it's okay. It's the art, artwork, our art master, the person that made it, the freedom of expression. That's their whole thing. They like drawing stuff like that. Be my guest. Knock them out. I honestly don't care. But if you have children around, be very respectful for that. Try not to show that to them. But at the same time, they're going to unfortunately, they're going to look at it for themselves. It's the internet. The internet's a lot more of a bigger place now. Than it was with me growing up as a 90s kid. This thing was barely even coming out. Even before I was born in the 80s. The only people that were using it was probably like scientists and lawyers at that time. And 90s it was very still very small. It was only for Google and AOL and I think Yahoo. And the 2000s and up. Up to this point in time. In 2015 March 21st. Which I'll be uploading this video then not today. That's how it comes down to. You know. But that's all I have to say on this issue. And this um, little debate how Nintendo shut this down. And that's it. And also, she doesn't look too super pornographic there. Same with Flannery. Those two, they're very soft core right there. Peace out once again. Bros and Bros of Pegasus. I'll put Proto Mario's link in the description below if you want to rest, read the rest of his video or watch it. I will see you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. We're right around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't do anything about this. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it left out there. Until then, next time, guys. Peace out. Late saying goodbye. Um... This is all that good stuff. Um, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that said, I will see you guys next time. You guys take it easy. Stay safe. Be easy. Be you. Be yourself. Do you. Uh, stay healthy, everyone. Take it easy, everyone. I'm out like sauerkraut. And I will talk to you guys next time in a future video. You guys take it easy. Stay safe. All that good fun things. And I will talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Goodbye. I'm out. And uh, see you guys next time.